NASA and the European Space Agency has just taken new photographs of the Sun. These were taken from 48 million miles or 77 million kilometers and are the clearest ever taken by cameras. They were taken by the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter probe, which was launched last year. These observations could help scientists explain why the Sun's atmosphere is so hot compared to the surface. This joint NASA and European Space Agency mission has been seen as a success, as no telescope on this planet has been able to capture the Sun in this much detail. The mission costs $1.3 billion, and will help scientists study the Sun's north and south poles. David Bergmans of the Royal Observatory of Belgium, who is a principal investigator on the mission, said the following. The campfires are little relatives of the solar flares we can observe from Earth, million or billion times smaller. The sun might look quiet at first glance, but when we look in detail we can see those miniature flares everywhere we look. NASA went on to say the following on their website. The first images from the European Space Agency's and NASA's solar orbiter are now available to the public, including the closest pictures ever taken of the Sun. Solar Orbiter is an international collaboration between the European Space Agency, or ESA and NASA to study our closest star, the Sun. Holly Gilbert, NASA's project scientist for the mission at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said the following. These unprecedented pictures of the sun are the closest we've ever obtained. These amazing images will help scientists piece together the sun's atmospheric layers, which is important for understanding how it drives space weather near the Earth and throughout the entire solar system. NASA went on to say the following. Getting to this point was no simple feat. The events happening right now around the world force mission control at the European Space Operations Center to close down completely for more than a week. During commissioning, the period when each instrument is extensively tested, ESOC staff were reduced to a skeleton crew. All but essential personnel worked from home, but the team adapted, even readying for an unexpected encounter with Comet Atlas's iron and dust trails, and this happened on June the 1st and 6th. The spacecraft completed commissioning just in time for its first close solar pass on June 15th. As it flew within 48 million miles of the sun, all 10 instruments flicked on, and the solar orbiter snapped the closest pictures of the sun to date. NASA noted that although other spacecrafts have been closer, none have carried some facing images and captured images like these. Over the years, researchers have been able to learn a lot about the sun, and this has helped us to better understand how it was first formed, and the power that this massive star holds. Our sun is a giant star that can be found at the heart of our solar system. If we didn't have the sun's massive amount of energy, there would be no life on our planet. Scientists have figured out the sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the sun, the outside of the sun is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's nothing compared to the core which can reach more than 27 million degrees. NASA have said that to match the energy the sun produces, you'd have to set off 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. So what do you make of these incredible images? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.